hello welcome back to my channel in this video i want to talk to you about um shock and chlorinating liquid um let me show you my pool right quick see i can see my pool how clear the water is this is how i maintain my pool if you go back and look at my video um i have it on my video list playlist i have a little bit of dirt right there dust i don't know what it is i gotta take it out with the skimmer but yeah that's my pool y'all see okay now let's go back to the pool shock and the chlorinated liquid so sometimes uh what i want to just talk about this is that sometimes i use pool shock um if i don't find pool shock you know any brand it doesn't have to be clorox if i don't find pool shock normally i'll buy the chlorinated liquid to me it does the same thing um, and it's just um, actually chlor chlorinating liquid is actually real cheap it's cheaper it's way cheaper than the than the bags you know um, but I use both of them right now I tested my pool and it's already time for me um, to um, add some more um, shock to it and um, chlorinate it I'm running low on chlorine so it's time already. I shock it every week on heavy rains to maintain, you know, the pool clean. Cause you have to shock every week and make sure, you know, you're running your filter. And um, so what I wanted to talk about right now, as you can see, it's real sunny. It's really, really, really sunny. Woo, where's the sun at? Okay. Um, anyways, what I do uh, with this one, what I like about the chlorinated liquid is that I first of all when I shock I shock at night when, once the sun goes down on um, you know once your sun goes down you're supposed to shock because if you shock right now all the UV rays from the sun are gonna eat up your shock your chlorine they're they're gonna you know it's no good to shock during the sun you're chlorinating you know all this chlorinating stuff is not going to work if you shock during the you know when there's full sun sunlight so I always shock at night. Remember that shock at night, okay? So if um the with this one, as y'all can see, let me see if I can show you a picture of um if I can show you. When I use the packages, what I do, I dissolve them. I put water in here. I'll fill it up one bag. I use I use two bags per, for my pool. It depends on the size of your pool. That's how many you have to use. So I'll put water in here. And when I fill it up with the water, I um, slowly pour my shock in here and I pre-dissolve it. I always pre-dissolve my shock. Pre-dissolve, pre-dissolve. I only add one um, of these, you know, through, because my bucket is small. And then I'll add the second one. Do not pour all of it at, in this small little bucket, okay? And what I do once I pre-dissolve it, like wait about, about 10 minutes after I pre-dissolve it with the water, I'll go all around the pool. I'll go all around the pool and pour it all around the pool as your filter is running. Make sure your filter is running when you shock your pool. And um, what I want to talk to you about, if you don't, if you don't pre-dissolve this, the ones in the in the bag, what's going to happen is that if you pour it all around your pool and you don't pre-dissolve it in the bucket, it's going to stain your liner. I didn't know much until I started learning about you know about it and i used to go all around it because i used to see videos and they never explained that they pre-dissolved it so you're supposed to pre-dissolve it because it will stain your liner so when i was first pouring it all around and um it doesn't dissolve right so what happened was it stained my liner a little bit it would all go to the center where the filter was on it would all uh, somehow it would end up like in the center and i don't know if you can see right there i have white it stained my liner already. It's kind of white. It's not dark blue. It's white. I don't know if y'all can see it. You see? It's not much, but it was starting to stain it. So that's the reason why I pre-dissolved my shock. That's only if you're using the bags. So when I don't use my bags and I can't find any bags anyways, I'll go and buy the chlorinated li liquid. With the liquid, all I do is go all around and since it's just liquid, I don't have to pre-dissolve it, but also it's a shocking system. So um, since it's chlorine, you know, chlorine, shock is chlorine. Make sure that you shock, you know, that you pour this at night too. It's the same thing. 
it's just this is liquid and this is um this is um in the bag it's gra uh, granule granules i don't know how you say it um so that's the only differences between these so if you don't find the bags you can always use the liquid and i like the liquid because you don't have to pre-dissolve it um so and you just check on the size of the pool that's the size that you would um that's the amount you would have to pour all around your pool okay i hope this video helped a lot about um talking about shock about the bag shop the granules and the liquid and thanks for watching any questions you have feel free to ask me bye pool